Good morning, welcome to another edition of New Items Added to the Shop. Every month we go out looking for high Z glassware, bring those new items back, put them on this table, and we give you first opportunity to buy those pieces before we put them in the shop. Give you a quick little preview of what we have this morning. See anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. If you don't have our phone number, all you have to do is send us an email and we will send you our phone number so you can start texting us. We can combine several weeks of videos before we ship anything to you. If you're ready, we're gonna start right back here in the corner. A pair of Dolphin 110 candle holders in Moongling. Excellent color on these. Price is $750. Alexandrite ball vase. It's about four and a half inches. Price is $325. Put it in this room so you can see the color. Nice Alexandrite color. Pair of Trophy Flamingo candle holders in Flamingo. $75 for the pair. You always have to watch these handles down at the bottom. If they get bumped, they'll get fractures in those handles. These have good handles. Jack B. Nimble candle holders. We have two available, and they're $225 a piece. Prism Band Decanter. It has a cut stopper in it. Sometimes they put a press stopper. This has been cut on all the panels. Flamingo, clean on the inside. There's a little manufacturing flaw right here where it's been touched when it's hot. and it squeezed the glass out both directions. $135. Whaley Handle Beer Mug. Fox Chase decoration. What makes this nice? Cobalt blue handle. Handle's in good shape. It hasn't been bumped. There's no fracture in it. Signed in the middle of the bottom. And it's $650. Very scarce item. We have two available. These are Warwick 9-inch Horn of Plenty vases in Sahara. Each one of them is marked in the center of the bottom. $125. You can take one or two. Carcassonne footed cigarette holder in Sahara. Narrow optic. Usually you see these in cobalt blue, $55. Octagon two-handle nut cup, Empress etching, diamond optic, $30. Only one available. Mayonnaise ladle and Sahara. These are kind of hard to find. Marked in the center of the bottom, $22.50. Pillows, stuck handle pitcher, good handle. Excellent gold on it. A little bit of wear on the pattern, not bad at all. $135. If you like the picture or you're a tumbler collector, here's a tumbler. Excellent condition. That's probably about the best gold you can find on a piece. One available, $40. Marked inside the center of the bottom. This is the first time we've had this item. It's a little mayonnaise ladle, but it's in Flamingo. We had one a few weeks ago in Sahara. These are really, really scarce to find in color, and it is marked on the back of the handle. The price on it is $75. Empress Dolphin Footed Net Cup in Alexandrite. $95. Show the color. Excellent color on that piece. Another Dolphin Footed Net Cup. This time it's in Queen Anne rather than Empress. They took the old Empress pattern, put these indentations in it. And I believe this is going to be Bella Rose or it's going to be Rosalie Etching. I believe it's Bella Rose. One available, $35. Elephant handle beer mug does have a ground bottom on it. This is really dark amber. This is about the darkest amber I've ever seen. Has a little bitty mold mark going all the way around the bottom. It's not damaged. You can tell it's just a little mold mark. Other than that, it's in good shape. Really dark amber, $450. Right below it, we have a sparky, and this is in honey amber, guaranteed to be heisy. And this is $450. We have two Olympic vases, Olympia vases. They're 4191s, a number on them. I think this is about an eight inch side. The other one's a six inch side. Has an orchid etch. The large one, $165. Then we have the smaller one, again with orchid etch on it. It's $225. Smaller one is much harder to find than the big one. Have three cobalt blue favor vases. We have 4227, I believe this one is. It's $275. I believe this is 28, 4228, it's $275. Then we have 42, I believe this is 4230, those are the number four, it's $185. Beaded swag, floral bowl, 
nice condition, no damage, very, very little wear, $65. I don't break it. We have a Stanhope covered candy box. I believe that's Frosty Dawn etching. Has a red Bakelite knob. No damage on it whatsoever. It's $325. Pair of Jack B. Nimble candle holders in Sahara. The price is for the pair. They're $245 for the pair. Now we have some animals. They're all frosted. They're all in good shape. They all turn yellow under the black night light. We guarantee them to be heisy. Here's a tropical fish. Has a large fish here, two smaller fish here, and it's $650. And it doesn't lean in any, any direction. Large elephant or papa elephant, good condition. Fluoresces under black light, $250. The bull, I believe it's marked. Maybe it's not marked. Anyway, put it under a black light. It does fluoresce under a black light. We guarantee it to be Heisey, $850. And the last frosted animal we have today is the mother rabbit. Frosted, of course, $575. Made Ipswich candy jar in two sizes. This is the large size. It's $425. Of course, the color is Sahara. Now we have four duck perfume bottles on the left. We have the Moon Gleam. This is called Seven Sides. It has seven sides going around it, and then there's seven little sides going up the side of it. It's in Moon Gleam, $425. The hardest one to find is a crystal one. It's $475. Then look closely at these last two. We have a Flamingo one on the left, and then the one on the right is actually a Flamingo stain, and the one on the right has a little iridescence to it. So is this a Flamingo one? is $475, and then the flamingo stained with the iridescent on it, hopefully you can see the iridescent on that, is $395, and it's a flash. Why a company would buy a crystal one off of Heisey and flash it when they could buy a pink one, almost looks, almost looks like it, I don't know. But there you can look at the stopper, see how the glass is crystal? Of course, they don't need to flash that because it's gonna be right inside the perfume. Very unusual. Old sandwich basket. This is not a whimsy. This is actually a production item. It's in a 1941 catalog. $350. It's a foot of iced tea. They pulled down the sides and put a handle over the top of it. Very scarce item. All right, now we have four favor vases in crystal. $42.27. It's $110. $42.28. It's $110. $42.30, it's $85. $42.31, it's also $85. Now we have a couple of them in Moon Gleam, which is one of the really hard colors to find. $42.29 in Moon Gleam, $625. $42.30, $625. Here we have a, I believe this is a Yeoman ashtray. Beautiful decoration on the inside of it. It's all cut. And it actually is signed Hawks and Block letters right there along the ground part. hy -Z made these. They sold them to lots of companies. They put decoration on. Anyway, the signed Hawks ashtray is $30. Guaranteed to be hy -Z. Have some crystal animals. They all turn yellow under the black light. Here's a show horse. Stands up straight. Does have a few little mold marks, which isn't unusual for the hy ones. Does have the hy mark back there on the back, and it's $650. Actually, hy sold these as toy horse heads. It's a little bitty toy horse head. Looks like what goes on top of the cigarette box, and it's $35. And they advertise them as toy horse heads. Clydesdale. Excellent shape. Turns yellow into the black nice. Light, nice ground bottom, stands up straight. It's got all the whistles and bells to it. It's $225. Another favorite vase, Flamingo this time. $42.29. And it's $775. Flamingo one and Moon Gleam ones are actually harder to find than the Tangerine ones. Have a pair of half circle creamer and sugars in Flamingo. $95 for the pair. 
Lodestar vase. Of course, the color's dawn. If it's in crystal, it's not called Lodestar, it's called satellite. So whenever you see a piece in the dawn color and it has this star design on it, it is going to be called Lodestar. And it has to be in uh, dawn because all the crystal ones are satellite. $95. And sometimes you'll see this vase with a stopper in it that they ground to fit in it, and that's called a covered jar. Octagon Moon Gleam Basket, signed in the middle bottom, ground bottom, good condition, and it's $125. Creole Alexanderite Champagne Glass, $75, only one available. Helmet basket, you don't see these very often at all. In color, the Moon Gleam and Flamingo are very scarce to find, and it's $650 marked in the center of the bottom. Beautiful piece. Here we have a Yeoman Hawthorne Diamond Optic. They made these both Diamond Optic and plain, a puff box. And it's $135, of course, colors Hawthorne, marked in the center there, ground bottom. They also made this jar, no Diamond Optic to it. We'll pick it up. We have an electro portable lamp. I'll turn on the light. You always want to put a, a very low wattage bulb in these. That has a number one lance cutting on the shade. I did notice it has a prisms going around it, and two of the prisms are just a little bit longer than the other prisms. I don't think that's by design. You don't have to. Okay. Okay, now we have six Sahara Faber vases. And these are numbered, they all start 42, 42, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. The 42, 27 is $250. 42, 28 is $275. 42, 20, 29 is $327. I'm sorry, $275. I'll get my numbers mixed up. 4230, 175. These are a lot easier to find. 4230, 31 is $175. And the hardest one to find, believe it or not, is in this shape, except for the except for the one in uh, tangerine. And it's the easiest one to find in tangerine. And this one's $275. All of the other five are just fine. This one here, the top of it, has like a ruffled edge all the way around it. And if you look closely, the diamond optics went all the way to the edge on this one. So that one has, uh, it's, it's got, I would call a wavy top on it. Anyway, it's $275. A Gallagher Waller jug, narrow optic, Renaissance etching, good handle, $85, slight wear. Have a swan marked right here with a diamond H. Good condition. You want to always look back behind the neck. If that head gets bumped in one direction or another, that will fracture back there. Always look at the tail, uh, the top of the wing. Make sure that's there. Make sure there's a curl on the back of that tail. These are places that are prone to have damage and then get repaired. It's $650. Does turn yellow into a black light. Hi-Z made two horse head stoppers. Here's the large size stopper. You hardly ever see this one ground to fit in a cocktail shaker. It's $245, does fluoresce under black light. This large horse head stopper has not been reproduced. The one in my right hand is a small head, small horse head stopper. It has been reproduced in several colors. Boyd made them, Imperial made them. This one does turn yellow under black light. I guarantee it's Hi-Z. And this one's $75. Urn vase. I don't know if you can see that cutting. Beautiful little cutting on it. It's $125. I'm going to guess this is a six inch tall vase. Here we have a bitters bottle. Has a circus etch on it. This is called Lion Tamer. Has a nice tube in it. And it's $250. Circus etchings are very difficult to find. I believe the last item this morning is a duck ashtray. See the duck's head, you put a cigarette here, you put a box of ashes there, ground on the bottom, marked in the center of the bottom, in flamingo, it's $135.
That concludes our video for today. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. And please join us next Thursday for another edition of Half Price Thursday. That's 8 o'clock every morning on Thursday. Thank you very much and goodbye.